time, we shored up the window boxes and installed hangers as the walls continued to grow on the Earthbag News Art Studio. After weeks of dodging rainstorms, we finally get a reprieve. We quickly jump into work to reach the top of the window boxes with bags. Don't tell me what I know, Travis. What was it? What was it he got wrong? One of the ways to help reach our goal sooner is to cut the top of the window boxes off. We wanted to go ahead and shorten the walls to accommodate the roof a little better. So we've shortened our windows down from 4050s to 4040 windows, so four foot by four foot. We decided to go ahead and just drop them down one foot, and that brings the whole roof down one foot. Gives us a better profile in the building. To be able to find those uh, 4040 windows, probably easier than the 50s. Also, too, the wall height was just getting too high after we add everything on top of the windows and everything. I mean, this is going to be a skyscraper before we can get the roof on. No, this building, I just really wanted to do a lot of bottles. We had saved a bunch of bottles and I was hoping to be able to use them, but when you put them together, I don't want them to stick out too far beyond the bags because then you have to kind of cob around and they kind of stick out. So it's trying to stay real close to the same width. So where do you think, right, right there? Yeah. I just want to make a statement that I did not help at all with finding bottles, matching bottles, taping bottles or putting the bottles up there, but I did bag around them. Yeah, I realized that you didn't really help a lot with the bottles. Somebody asked last time where you were, so we had to like pretend like you were involved in the bottles and put you in this right now. What? Nothing. From our previous buildings, we've learned that with bottles, you can't just run barb over them and just tamp over them like normal because all the weight when it starts building up will eventually break that bottle. So you have to like, you put the bottle in and then back up to it and then do a thin layer like over the top of it and then keep going. And then when you tamp, you only tamp up to it and don't tamp on top of it until at least you get the next layer on. And you don't lay any barbed wire like over the top or underneath them. You just lay them up to it. But I'm just kind of taping them together. What I found that works really well is to just put those two bottles together and then tape them off. Beer bottles. <laughs> Beer bottles. Kind of like this little arch. When we first started the design process for this and everything, um, Dad really wanted to put it in buttresses. We talked him out of it because we don't like the look. Well, buttresses are a device that work. They have these very, very long walls with these huge steeples, and you just couldn't get a long wall and a huge steeple without some support, so they began to put these things called buttresses, which were steel, brick, concrete type of frames that actually held the wall in place like a triangle. Mm -hmm. And then they were able to support the actual steeples that sat on top of that. For us, we would have had to have uh, put them in the walls and um, they would have been four foot little sections that kind of continued up the side of a wall. Because we didn't put the buttresses in, it is possible that we had more problems than we really um, no, would normally have had. You I lay mean, too many layers too fast and they never get a chance to dry and harden. It's like a, a bag that can move. Even, even with it just being damp, it allows it to move quite a bit and get re-tamped and stuff. Once it gets hardened, that thing is rock solid. A 30 foot circle on a 14 inch bag is absolute max that you'd ever want to do. It really is. We didn't really know that going in and we didn't really think that far we didn't even think it would matter mm -hmm. really because we've had such good luck with the smaller circles mm -hmm. and then once we got up to a certain height we had we had had some issues with uh, just setting the walls and our center line got a little shorter at one point and it brought the walls in and out and normally that would be okay but then we had a big rain come through it mm -hmm. soaked the bags all the way through down to the bottom one caused a lot of weakening to happen and then it started to buckle I mean, if we would put buttresses in, we wouldn't have had these problems. Let's try the simple first and then go to the more complicated. And it took a lot of rain. It, it, was, it was the worst place for something like this to happen, but it did, right there. And we started losing a little bit of integrity on the wall. Suspecting that the wall was possibly moving, we, uh, we took some measurements 
um, just to kind of see what would happen over an extended period of time, see if that wall was really moving. It didn't appear to be at first, but it meant as soon as we started getting up on it, walking around a little bit, putting more bags down, we noticed it was definitely moving. We have discovered bad listing problem here. So we're going to try to fix it. We decided to use come along. So we we're at the base of the door downstairs. We're able to connect the, the come along at the base, run a cable all the way up to the wall. We we're able to run the cable through. We put a backing on the back of that so that on the outside of the wall, we could run the cable through, back and around, out to the come along. We're going to try to push this entire bag section over this way. And then use the come along to bring the wall in. That is already a, a ton better. If you just look at this line, I'd go some more. It, wow. needs to be, it needs to be pushed in, and I'm thinking we could tamp it. Then we'd move it over and then tamp it down. So this doesn't go anywhere because like it's got this, you know? Yeah, it's really working good. Can come out here and look at this? We are in 102 and a half, 103. So we're moving a lot. We have all these gaps. This is as stiff as this building has ever been. Right here. And so tamping it just settles all the bags down. That way it'll hopefully stay when we let it back a little better. Darren, come over here. Every time he hits it, it drops down. Right. See it over here. You can really see it over here because we gotta. I get to stick my fingers in between the bags on the side. Um, the dirt on the center bags here, since we had that big rain, all the dirt is still damp, hasn't dried yet. So it's gonna re resettle really nice. If it was all dry, the wall would get weaker. Uh, we did the very same thing on the outside. Put a hole through the wall to the inside, put a brace on that, and then wrapped it around, come back in, yep. and, and then we drove stakes down into the ground, put the come along on, went ahead. And this S turn kind of thing we had going on, we were able to kind of straighten it out. When we were doing this, our, one of our links in the wire we were using ended up popping, which I guess you kind of always expect to, or you, you're kind of always afraid of it, so you're kind of always careful around it, but uh, it actually happened this time. Yeah, it came out about six or eight inches, didn't it? At it least, like, yeah. It was, ooh, that's it was, really good. The come-alongs worked really good to pull the wall back to where we wanted it. Um, I think what it was is a spring effect where we yeah. had pulled it in, when it busted, it just like, whoa, all as yeah. far as it could go instead of just coming back to normal. So it went a little bit past, we brought it back in. It's just unforeseen, you can't always, sometimes things break. It's actually a pretty good testament to what the bags, how sturdy they really yeah, are. Right. I mean, to be able to spring back like that and hang out just at a crazy angle and just stop. Yeah. I mean, that's, it really is quite amazing. You know what's another thing is a testament to those cleats that are attached to the post. Because without them, we might have lost the whole wall, I think. Yeah. And let's, uh, let's get a cleat on there. I'll go make one if you want to tamp that over, move that. So Dad's first thing was he just wanted to tamp it. And I was like, no, 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 you can't just tamp a giant section. But later on, he did suggest it again on a smaller section. And I said, no, it doesn't work. Remember, we've gone through this. This just does not work. And then he left to go over, and I was out of ideas. And so I was like, okay, dad's gone. We can test the tamp now. Okay. It looks better. It does. Oh, please don't bust out that window. Wow, Bright. Yeah, I'm gonna take a look. I think you're gonna like it. You fixed it. All right, don't tell dad how we did it. And uh, it actually did end up working. A little. Was that, was that hard to admit? Okay. Yes. Was look. look at that wall. Look at that wall. How beautiful is that? Better than it was. So, but we managed good. to get it back in, get everything all put yeah. back together. It seems like the areas around the windows where we had the cleats and everything, those walls seem to stay pretty close. We're digging some holes to put some posts here to hold up our Murphy bed. So that worked really well. We not only get now posts for the Murphy bed, but we also get posts for the wall. It's gonna help to support it. So they're six by sixes. We'll be able to drill a hole through those. Same idea through the bag, some kind of plate on that side, and that'll help to drive it back. Hey, didn't really move at all. That's good. Ooh. 
we got it straight again, and it, we've got it to dry. And we're also gonna run some extra T post in there. Mm -hmm. um, we're not going as high now. Two, that's gonna help us with the security of the walls, which is kind of the question, isn't it? Is that when we set the roof on it, the roof won't have any spreading effect. To another system that we're gonna use, it's not gonna, so we'll have a roof that just sets weight. That's all we're gonna have is weight straight down, and that's all I need. Uh, for headers, we did something a little bit more simple. Instead of going out and buying four by eights or four by material, we just used two by sixes, uh, three locked together. Threw some cleats on the bottom of them and we set them right on top of the windows. Keeps our profile low. We get this, the strength that you get from a header so that the roof can set over the top of a window. So that worked out really well. We ended up upgrading the header over the door. Well, originally, we were just gonna double that up, um, but then, you found the yeah. Found I found nice some material. I found some roughs on yeah. um, dimensional material, six by six. They're pulling in, so we have to push them out so we can put the top on, so our door will fit in correctly. Took and straightened out the wall, pulling that section in. We actually pushed the door out of level or out mm -hmm. of plumb. Out of plumb. Um, so we had a we had to kind of bring that back in and. Uh, Good idea to pull down her face like that. The far head really nicely. Yeah, that's We ended up using the old header piece, kind of wedge that back in. We're just gonna leave it there because it's just gonna give it give it's it yeah, it gonna keep it spreads at six feet and then that way that door will just slip right in there because that can be a nightmare. Yeah, and that it's the nice thing about that is it it again makes it a lower profile. enough dirt after all with enough to spare still need more to fill in with bags once we get the roof on speaking of which next time we bring you an update it'll be on installing the roof for this crazy structure as always thanks for watching and have a great week thank you Hey, I just want to apologize to Christian Martinez. Last video, we had thanked him for suggesting the solid state drive for the Mac, and I called him Christina. I'm so sorry, and he was so lighthearted, and he laughed about it, And uh, but I just want to make a, a public apology. So thank you again, Christian. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Come here. Yeah. She's a good girl. Oh, can you play Oh, you guys act like you like her. I'm just surprised she came to you. She loves me. Here, meow. She's going to bite me. She is. She's going to bite Dad. Yeah. She's going to bite you. Oh, that was she really did this scary. Sure. That was scary. Yeah. Oh, we're filming. Oh, yeah. Shay, Shay, how close? <laughs> Cute hat. Mm. On it. Oh my gosh. When was the last time you combed that hair? Hello. It's me.